Good morning. Welcome to our early morning devotional on this Saturday, April 3rd, Holy Saturday, the day before Resurrection Day. Our title today is entitled The Coming Generation. We'll be reading out of Luke 16, 1 to 13. If you have your Bibles, turn there to Luke 16, 1 to 13, reading in Jesus' name. Jesus told his disciples, There was a rich man whose manager was accused of wasting his possessions. So he called him in and asked him, What is this I hear about you? Give an account on your management, because you cannot be a manager anymore for me. The manager thought to himself, Oh, what am I going to do now? My master's taken away my job. I'm not strong enough to dig holes and I'm ashamed to beg. Ah, I know what I'll do. Ah, before I lose my job, I'm gonna bring everybody in that owes my manager money. So he called each person in who owed his manager money. And he asked for the first, how much do you owe my master? 800 gallons of olive oil, he said. The manager told him, take your bill, sit down and make it for 400. Then he asked the second, How much do you owe my master? He said, a thousand bushels of wheat. He said, take your bill and cut it down to 800. The master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly. For the people of this world are more shrewd in dealing with their own kind than they are with the people of the light. I tell you, use worldly wealth to gain friends for yourselves so that when it is gone, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will be dishonest with much. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, you will who will trust you with true riches? And if you cannot be trustworthy with someone else's prosperity, who will give you prosperity of your own. No servant can serve two masters. Either he will hate one, hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Our Psalm 22 passage is verse 30 today. Reads as following. Prosperity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generations the coming generation. In our everyday usage, the word generation refers to a group of people who were born in roughly the same time. Thus, we speak of the baby boomers from 1946 to 1964. We have the Gen Xers from 1965 to 1979. We have the millennials and the Gen Zs from 75 to 85, and then from 85, 86 to 96, roughly, Jesus sometimes used the word generation in a different way. Not to classify people according to ages, but according to faith or to unbelief. Well, for example, Matthew 20, 12, 39, it says, an evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign. The sons of this world are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than the sons of light, Luke 16, 8. These uses of generation refers to that group of people who are joined together by unbelief, not by age. You see, understanding generations as a reference to faith or unbelief can help our reading as we look at Psalm 22. Again, you remember it said, it shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. It does not need to refer only to those first Christians who heard the news of the Lord's death and resurrection, but it can also refer to the coming generation. It can include all those who hear the word of God, the word of God concerning the cross, and those who call upon the Lord and believe. No matter what year they were born, we Christians are the descendants that shall serve him because the good news of God in Christ has been delivered to us 
and we have heard it. And now our generation rises up and declares it. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for adding me and the hearers of this devotion to your generation, the generation of those who believe and rise up so that we can share the resurrection story, the life-changing story to those who are hopeless and lost. Amen. Hey, this is Pastor Sean Bowman. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to having you join me once again for our last Lenten devotional tomorrow morning, Easter morning, as we rise up early and get ready to worship and join in the worship of our Lord. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.